away our sins. There is nothing but the blood of Jesus. It's only the blood of Jesus that can wash away our sins. Hallelujah. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And what can make me whole again? Nothing. The blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is our Let me wash as snow Oh, the fount I know nothing Nothing but the blood of Jesus Nothing It's only one thing, the blood of Jesus Oh, yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my I see you. I the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh my, listen I play nothing. The blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow. It's me white, I know nothing. I know the blood of blood of Jesus. I say by the blood, it's all the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. It's all by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood that was shed. Oh, this is all my open peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my Righteousness, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus, and all precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. And I think I know nothing. The blood, the blood of Jesus, nothing but the blood, the holy, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And I thank you, we bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, once again, we give you great, we thank you, and we bless you, for once again bringing us before your presence. Your word said, in your presence there is fullness of joy. The right hand side pleasures forever. We thank you and we bless you for once again bringing us in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, men and women of God, once again I bring you greetings from God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace or grant you peace in the name of Jesus. May every word of God, every promise of God come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May He open the heavens unto you. May He cause your feet to step on your promised land in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, without a shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Our Jesus is coming. Everything points towards the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, one day our Jesus will come 
And the question is, if he is coming, will you be part of those who will be raptured? Will you be part? Somebody said, I don't believe it. My brother, my sister, it is the word of God. It is the word of God. Jesus says, I am coming, and I have my reward in my hands. May the Lord open the heavens unto you, and bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you shout, Amen. Your body, a living sacrifice. Your body, a living sacrifice. Today I want to talk about why. Why do we have to separate? Why do a Christian have to separate? Why? Let's go and read our scripture. Romans chapter 12. Romans 12 and the verse 1 and 2. I read. Paul said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies, the body that God has given to us. He said we should present it as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect way of God. That you may prove. And so, if we present our bodies and, us, and we live the way that God wants us to do, then we live our reasonable service, the service that God has called us into. God has called us to serve Him and live a holy life. Because everything on earth has an end. My brother, my sister, life on earth is temporary. Because whether you like it or not, your days will pass by. The Bible says, under the sun, there is a time to be born, a time to die, and a time. And so everything has a time. I pray that your time and my time will not expire in the name of Jesus. God has called his people to be separated from unbelievers, to be separated from so-called believers who are living immoral and profane life. God has called us to live, to separate from them, to separate not only unbelievers, but people who have a form of godliness, but deny the power thereof. People who hold <laughs> the truth in ungodly way. People who are sitting in the church and their life does not reflect the light. The Bible says we are the light of this world. A light that you light can never be hidden. My prayer is that you know that it is your godly duty to be separated in the name of Jesus. One, we are not to be friends with the ungodly people. We are not to be friends. The other day I told you the reason why we don't have to. We don't have to walk with, with them. We don't have to make the world our friend. The Bible did not say we, do, we should not talk to them. This is not what the Bible is saying. That we say that do not make friends. Do not make friends. Because if you make friends, they are influenced. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 30. Say, do not be deceived. Evil communication corrupt good manners. I pray that somebody will understand. Show me your friend, and I'll show you your character. I told you that one. Pairing with opposite side is not beneficial. Because if you don't take care by the time you realize, I every day tell you the reason why you come to the Western world, the churches are collapsing. Recently I remember Papa Bright went to England and showed us a church building. And in that church building, most of them have been converted to beer bars. And people don't even regard the church buildings. Why? Because the Western world, profoundly at the end, how do we say sorry? We say how do we say they brought the world into the church, 
Why? Because everything is accepted in the church. Everything is accepted in the church, my brother, my sister. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians chapter 14. Let me go read Second Corinthians chapter 14. So Second Corinthians chapter 6 and the verse 14. You hear the word of God. He said, Be ye not equally yoked together with unbelievers. Be ye, be ye not meaning that do not yoke together with unbelievers. For what friendship are the righteous and the unrighteous? You're about their living sacrifice. Why a believer? Why a Christian? You need to separate. There was some John Humphrey near my home. John Humphrey home. One John Humphrey one. Many about many about my whole team is already. You cannot please God. Your body is a living sacrifice. It has to be holy and acceptable. A living sacrifice, not a death sacrifice. You cannot bring any help. The white church, you can wear anything to the church. And so people will say, Oh, yeah, yeah, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come The church is dead. And now our children are suffering. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that somebody will understand. <laughs> they took the church. I said, Everything is fast. Fast food, you drive through and you go. You drive through and you go. They just go to the church and say, Good morning, Jesus. Then they go. They don't even have time. I pray in the name of Jesus. First Corinthians 15 is an evil communication, corrupt good manners. And so pairing with opposite side, my brother, my sister, <laughs> it will affect you, have influence. And the other day I, I read Deuteronomy 22 verse 10. He said, do not plow with an ox and a donkey. You are together. You cannot plow. Why? Because what they all have different natures, different nature. Here too, they they all they are different sizes. And three, they have different strength. And so you cannot go to your farm, and when you are plowing, go away from now. You are far now. Far and chain now. Far a full moon now. The only bomb now. The only a juma. You cannot yoke them together. You have to separate them. I pray that you will understand. A good friend, a good friend, somebody who is filled with the Holy Ghost, will add to his decision or her decision, and everything will lead you to Christ. So that's how we are down. We pray for man so we are down. No one, no one go here. Say, I every day says that I have never seen any man of God pastor, any pastor. Who go to the club? Who go to the worldly people? And they will tell you because pastor have come. Let's play gospel music for him. They are able to stand on their feet, but go to the church. Go to Christian programs. Because they have given way to the, 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 the enemy. When you give the devil a chance, you take a fall. I pray in the name of Jesus. No wonder Jesus said, Many are called, but you are chosen. No wonder the church is dying. Because we are the leaders, and whatever we, we allow. May God help us that we will understand the call. No wonder. There are many that have come into the Christian door. The reason why they have come into is that they, they are not called, but they are employed. All they look to is what they will get. And so, if they will take any means to get what they will get. Yesterday, my brother preached about who do you say crisis and talked about the benefit. Most of them have come to merchandise and buy bomb on no. Christ only I would tell me. The Obenyan your body a temple of the Holy Ghost my brother my sister let's present this body let's present it and our Jesus will come whether you like it or not the Bible says what does the righteous and the wicked have in common the righteous and the wicked don't have anything in common 
And so the Bible says, <laughs> let me go and read it. Psalm, sorry, Isaiah, Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55. And I'll read from verse 6. Somebody hear the word of God. Verse 6 says, Seek ye the Lord while you be found, and call upon him while he's near. Verse 7. He said, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said we should separate. We should separate. Be not yoked together with unbelievers. For what accord had the righteous and the unrighteous? What communion had the delight with darkness? And what concord had Christ and Bell? Or what part had the believer and the infidel? What agreement had the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God has said. I will dwell in them, and I will walk with them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Verse 70 says, Wherefore come from among them, be ye separated, be ye separated. You have to separate. If you want to go to heaven, if you want to please God, you have to separate. I dear hear Christ of what day I am ring, say I bet you won't free me a mind. No, it took can not Christian part and you may you know one. If you are catch on it now on a fan you may you know you sit down and not give about anything because you are not ready to present your body as a living sacrifice. You are not ready. You don't want to go to heaven. The Bible says if we gain the whole world and loses our life, you don't you know what do you because all these things will perish. I have never seen um, mansions go come to to America, go to every place that you have and go to the downtowns, go to the places and see the tall buildings. All the owners have died and gone. Everything that we are we are struggling uh, and we are doing on earth. I am not saying it is no good. It is very good to leave a legacy and leave an inheritance. But if uh, your 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 reason is only that, my brother, my sister, be careful. Because the, the things that you you leave behind, you even don't know. People will just come and you don't know. Oh, judge, Papa, dear Papa, one number close, no, no, one more job, you'll be intimate. You go to your hometown. There are buildings, top bills, and nobody can stay in because through force means they were able to acquire. May God have mercy. May the Lord have mercy. The righteous, the Bible is calling us. <coughs> Listen. The Bible is calling us to live a righteous life. The, the outcome, the result will be different. When a righteous man walk with an unrighteous, as you my sister, where in our children, where in our children, my brother, my sister, listen to me. Jesus said, "If I'm lifted up, I'll draw men." And Paul said, "I watered it." And Apollo, you cannot, you cannot win anybody. It's only Christ. It's only Christ. You <laughs> such and you, we are just called uh, sent to just speak and preach. We preach the message. When we preach, the conviction is the Holy Spirit that brings conviction. It's the Holy Spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Two, he said, what communion had Christ and Satan? What communion? And so there are many people that sit in the church. They sit in the church. After church, they go. The practices of the church, no wonder, no wonder. Nowadays, the practices of the church has become like a, a, a shrine, a shrine. Now, I'm sorry, I saw a couple of fear. And near my eye, I mouth. The beer, and yammy, and the yammy said, I thank God, my brother, my sister. I pray that you be vigilant. The reason why you have to separate, you have to separate. Not everything is good. Not everything is good for a believer. He said, What fellowship 
What fellowship had the righteous with the unrighteous? Because the righteous man, you can easily be defiled by the unrighteous behavior. The unrighteous behavior. <laughs> again, again, you will never see them. They will say, oh, the world is having something. Oh, pastor, pastor, but you're more Christian, you man. You're more Christian, you man. You say, who will cry, they will mock at you. Because the pastors, they see us that they, we are the weakest people. We cannot stand on our feet. We cannot stand on our feet. Mm -hmm. I thank God for God. Me de biya me kachira o Christo ni a wuti a me o sofu a wuti a me uni a radi a diye shiwa we a unko heaven o diye o diye di o diye o diye jiji wa nona kandi ma you sit down and say and insult us if you don't encounter Jesus Christ if you don't take it you won't go to heaven because heaven you take everything literally there will not not be any meaning for the word of God go into the Bible and see the people that encounter the Lord Jesus Christ how they work see how Paul work. You see how the disciple? Yes, they did it. But you see, Paul, he did everything because he was on his way to Damascus. And Jesus Christ encountered him. You go into the Bible, you see that from the day Jacob encountered God, his life changed. He changed forever. The Bible says his name was changed. And he was called Israel. I was telling my brother that when people see us preaching on the on the on Facebook and everything, some people ask us the thing that they think that we don't have anything to do. My brother, my sister, I tell you when you can encounter Jesus Christ, only already my brother, my sister, it's not about church, it's about Christ Jesus. Live a righteous life. This is separated. Recently, I had a, a man of God, a man of God, argue. You, you, you continue uh, sitting without them counting the Lord Jesus Christ. The child of God will not be able to live a righteous life. The Bible says, what fellowship can the light have with darkness? What fellowship can the light have with darkness? The reason why you have to separate. You cannot use your body anyhow. What, uh, what harmony is between Christ? Uh, hallelujah. Let me go. And, and, and read a scripture in the Bible, then you see that God don't have anything to deal with the devil. The things of God must be holy. There are many pastors and they will go and stand in the river and perform things. If you don't take it, you will be following them. Everybody is actually imagining. Let me go and read First Samuel chapter 5. Then you see when the, when the ark of God left the children of God and where it was taken. As of the apostle chapter, uh, sorry, First Samuel chapter 5. And the first one said, And the Philistines took the ark of God and brought it from Ebenezer unto Ashwood. And when the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon. What are called? Christ on here with the mommy. The reason why you have to be separated. Your body, you have to separate it. Not everything is good for a believer. Don't don't listen to the pastors. Don't listen to the teachers. Don't listen to them who don't know and have allowed themselves for the world to lead them. Not the Holy Spirit. I every day say that I pray that you be led by the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will bring the truth and will bring conviction. Three things that the Holy Spirit will bring is seen in John chapter 16, John 16, and the verse 7 and 8. Let me read it. Jesus will promise us that nevertheless I tell you the truth, 
It is expedient for me to go. If I go, the comforter is talking about the Holy Spirit. Will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he comes, he will reprove you. He will chastise or convict the world of three things of sin, of righteousness, and judgment. Listen to people who speak through the Holy Spirit. And they will tell you what is the mind of Christ. Not people who have sat and educated themselves, but don't have the Spirit of God in them. He says of, of sin because they did not believe on me. Of righteousness because I go to the Father. Of judgment because the prince of this world stand condemned. Anytime you see a Christian who filled his or herself with excuses, a man of God, a woman of God, a deacon, an elder, somebody who sits in a peace, an usher, filled him, his or herself with excuses, he has started to backslide. No, I shall say, yes, say, yes, say, yes, because who said, Well, get to know. And I always tell you, you sit down. <laughs> in this end time, Christianity have been watered. Have been watered. No wonder Jesus said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 3, that in this last the sin will abound, iniquity will abound. During the name of Jesus, the Israelites took Dicon, they took the ark and took it to the house of Dicon. Again, the Bible says, What accord, what fellowship has Christ with Baal? With delight. <laughs> Any place, no matter how small the light, when it appears in darkness, you see the light. The Quran of Go. The the place that you stay, your house, the size of the pop is not the same size of the room. You never see it. Why? It does not matter how small. What matters is the power that is in you. It will cause your light to shine. And so darkness and light don't have any accord. Such a word in Christian. I am talking about the reason why one needs to be separated. The Bible says our body is a living sacrifice. A body we should present it as a living sacrifice. And the Philistines, they took the ark of God and brought it before Dagon. First Samuel 5 and verse 3. And when they of Ashur rose early in the morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon and set him in his place. They believe in it. Why? Because they know they themselves have filled themselves with excuses that oh, we believe in that idol. We believe in thy God. Thy God is our God. God and uh, God and other gods don't have any accord. That is why Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. It's only Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus don't lie to yourself. Don't go out and look at your faces and they are worse and think that there is other way. The only way is Jesus Christ. Dagon fell. Why? Because Christ and Bill Baal don't have any accord. Christ and Baal have no accord. The fetish priests and the men of God don't have any accord. Because in our days, men of God do not know. <laughs> they are being mocked by, by, by fetish priests. Already only a mobile. There is no other gospel. The only gospel is the gospel of righteousness. Live a righteous life and do the will of God, my brother, my sister. David said it, and I have tested it, and I know. He said, I have been young, and I am now old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken by God. No, he is descended and begging bread. The eye of the Lord is always upon the righteous. The eye of the Lord is always upon the righteous. The Bible said the eye of God is moving. Always seeking somebody who satisfied. 
Why believers must be separated? We have to be separated. A reason why a Christian should be separated. Living a righteous life. Or what does a believer have in common with unbeliever? What agreement are there between the temple of God and idol? For we are the temple of the living God. God has said, I live with them and I walk among them and I will be their God and they will be my people. He is separate. Separate. God is calling us to be separated from them. May the Lord have mercy on us. May God have mercy, my brother, my sister. God is calling us to live a holy life. God is calling us, as people of God, to live a holy life, live a righteous life. Because whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, one day our Jesus will come. And the Bible says he's coming. And he has his reward in his hand. He's, he's coming. He'll give to everybody according to our works. Our oh, Jesus is coming. They took the ark of God and put it before Dagon. They put it. And the Bible says when they put it before Dagon, the next morning Dagon was down because Christ and Bill don't have anything in common. Christoni, dear me, mama, such a word. What about Radu? What now, Radu? What about Radu? What about Radu? Hallelujah. They put that gun back on his feet. The Bible says they put him. And when they rose in the morning, therefore, they put him back. And let's see. Let's read, let me read verse 4. First Samuel 5 4. And when they rose early on the morrow, behold, that gun was fallen by face to the ground before the ark of the Lord. And the head of Dagon was both the palms of his hands were cut off upon the thresholds. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore, neither the priest of Dagon nor that come into Dagon's house tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashod until these days. Why? Because Dagon has fallen. The he, first one, they did it and he fell. The next morning they came back, they did it, and he fell. And the third day, they realized, no, <laughs> there is something wrong. Because a God who is powerful has come there. You cannot. It is about many of them. And I'm told now to a hit our call. And then our friend Unyame. And then our dinner, your Unyame. There are many people. The temple. Your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Not everything that you 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 will take into the temple because you are tend to forgot you have forgotten that it is not the place of gathering that is the temple. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I remember I met a woman and we were talking as you saw entire way there, man sorry and show because she was half naked. She was half naked. And I asked her, why don't you want to take this to the church? And I reminded her, if you know that you cannot take it to a place of gathering, then don't, don't, don't do it. Because it is not where you, where you go, the place of gathering, that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. That is why the Bible is calling us to present our body holy and acceptable unto God. Our Jesus will come. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, Jesus will come. Dress modestly and <laughs> be careful. Be careful with how you present yourself. Peter outside the house, the, the, the high priest's house. Peter denied Christ. He denied Christ. Why? The reason why he denied Christ was where he found himself. He found himself. Peter found himself with the little girl, and they were in the high priest and everything. And they asked Peter, Do you know Jesus? He said, I have never even walked with him. Why? Because Jesus told Peter, that you deny me before the cock crows, you deny me. My brother, my sister, watch the people. 
Again, the Bible did not tell us we don't have to talk to them. Hear me? Bible nangasa me yani wongasa ana yani wonyaka. The Bible nangasa me yani wongfa yongkuo. If you are going there to preach to them, go and preach to them. I was listening to my brother was telling me a story about about a lady that went to preach to a guy. My brother told me, hear me. When they went to preach to the guy, and every day they go, they go in companies, and they go, they go in companies. One day the girl that follows them, they go, the girl went to the guy, went to preach to the guy. I am not saying, my, my brother told me yesterday, we were, I think it was Saturday, and when they were driving, the girl came to the boy. He said the boy told him the story. By the time they realize he has already slept with, with, with slept with the girl. Only girl nada. We be a walk walk walk. Kenya miya sama chere no no. Walk walk Kenya miya sama chere no no. We be a be man no nada. I feel walk walk here walk friend. Now so far no mobile. I'm only be man no be can. Kenya miya sama no. When they came back to when they came back, they said the guy say he was looking at the girl. He was looking at the girl. And so all that, all that they were telling him was at the back of his mind. Why? Because the girl has already fallen. My brother, my sister, we have to be careful. We have to be careful. I will every day tell you, any man of God, anyone who will tell you that shall not change, you begin to tell them the truth and they begin to tell you that they are falling. Either they are falling or they are about to fall. Christo nibi o beka chila se o kachira se adia wu yei emfa emfa nyami yoni yoni yamu ma o beka chila se wone wine you see this is the scripture that they started using when they were about to fall. Erade wone yei mabo. I am talking about the reason why a Christian need to be separated. You need to be separated. Paul concluded. He concluded. In verse 17, he says, Separate, come out from among them and be separated, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean, I will receive you. We have to be separated. You have to be separated. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that somebody that is watching us will understand. He says, I will be a father to you, and you be my sons and daughters, says the Lord. If we are separated, we come out. We don't have a court. We don't have to uh, be company with them. We don't have to. You don't have to be a company with them. First, I read the scripture. First Corinthians 5 and the verse 9 says that I wrote unto you in an epistle not to company with fornicators. He said, yet not altogether with fornicators of this world or with convertious extortionists or idolaters for them for, for them must, ye needs go out of the world. You have to go out of them. Don't company with them. You don't have any accord. Your body, a living sacrifice. God is calling us. One, to submit, absolutely submit. The two, is absolute to separate. Not everything is good for a Christian. Not every place is. Not every place is. Somebody will say that, oh, pastor, I don't care. I every day say that at times you go and you go to the shrine. You go to the shrine and they, they are making some food. The Bible says that we should pray and sanctify everything. My brother, my sister. You don't know. If you don't have the strength of Christ, that is why many people, many Christians are falling. Many pastors. Many pastors. Where the Bible tells us that we will pick poison and eat is when you don't know. When you go to preach, let me go read the scripture. Let me go read Mark chapter 16. Mark 16 and I'll read verse 18. 19, 15 says that go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believe 
is baptized and saved. But he that believed not is them. And all these signs. And so the Bible was talking about people going to preach the gospel. Judah, you sit down and fill yourself. Fill your being with excuses. And say that, oh, I am a Christian. I don't care. Any the man of God told me, told me, oh, media, nobody can poison me and die. I say, you leave. You sit down. You sit down. You sit down and, and fill yourself with excuses and don't be vigilant. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, In my name you shall cast out devil. <laughs> that shall speak with new tongues. And they shall pick up serpent. And if they drink deadly poison, it shall not hurt them when you are on the way preaching the gospel. I, I remember I read a, a book by Cho Yongi, Yongi Cho, may he, he so rest in peace. And he was saying when he started his ministry in South Korea, uh, and the, the move of God was so powerful. The move of God was so powerful. And uh, believers, everybody was coming to Christ. And they came. There was a group, young students, that have just believed in the Lord. And they went for camp meeting in the forest. They went to pray in the forest. And there was a heavy rain. And these young girls, they went with their teachers. But because they have accepted the word, they were so zealous with the, the Lord and said that Jesus walked on the on, on the he said that Jesus walked on the on the on the sea, on the river, so we, we are going to walk on it. Because it was raining and all the rivers have overflowed their banks. They, and they went to walk. They were five. How many are Christians here with you? Many are going to say we are Christians in the media. We are. This is the word of God. Come out. Don't compare with them. Don't compare with drunkards. Drunkards. And okay. Okay, Bible now. If, uh, uh, I think if Ephesians chapter 5 verse 18 now uh, and no master son uh, see, do not be drunk with wine uh, now am I in a strong drink I read uh, I read me I like reading and uh, they gathered and said that they cannot change the Bible they, but they can, the only way the only way they can change it is to change the weddings the words no more changing you know. and so read the, 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 the new international version you will see you see how they change it. The King James, the old one, is different from the, the new New King James. They are, they have changed it, except except you have the mind of Christ and the Spirit of God. Where I make a job? This little girl, they believe, and all they did, and that instead of staying for the rivers to subside and the rain to stop, because they were under uh, under tents. They must have courage because we, we pray Jesus walk on the water. We are going to walk. And they went, or they all went. They stepped in the river. And five of them, they were drunk. You know, for almost five million. You know, we, so it became a big blow. Don't tempt God. When God is saying, be separate, my brother, my sister, let's separate ourselves and worship God. He's the King of Kings. And the Lord of all. Do not envy. First Samuel chapter, Second Samuel seven and verse fourteen. Let me read. Let me read Proverbs twenty four and the verse one. He said, "Do not envy the wicked man or woman. Do not desire their company." He said, "We should not desire the company of the wicked." My brother, my sister, the reason to separate. God is calling us to be separated from them. The Radia begin to look at your the company, the people you talk to, the people you work with as a Christian. The church is dying, many are dying. I every day says people who come to me know me who know Radia because everything about me, everything about my brother is Christ, it's the Lord Jesus Christ, it's all about Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that we begin to second 
John chapter 10. He said, if anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not take them into your house or welcome them. Anyone who welcomes them share the same wickedness. Share the same wickedness. There are many occult members. There are many of them. I've heard an occult man say, oh, when you go there, we read the Bible, we do this, my brother, my sister. There is no accord with Christ and Bill. You cannot mix the two together. You cannot. Like, <laughs> we have a, a, a certain kind of Muslims that they say that they, they, part of them, they believe the Bible and they believe <laughs> May God help them. God help them. Ahimedia, Muslims. You cannot make the Bible with the Quran. It's different. Because their forefathers have taught them. Somebody stood up and said, This is right, my brother, my sister. Jesus is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only way. I thank God. That some of us, we have an encounter Christ. You have an encounter Christ. Separate yourself. Separate yourself. And don't associate with unbelievers. Jesus Christ is calling us. Rather frying. Rather frying. He's calling us to be separated. And live a righteous life. My brother, my sister. What are you doing? What is your life? What have you been doing? The Bible says that we should not be in the company of the ungodly. We should not be in the company of unrighteous people. We should be separated from them. Understand that your body is a living. You must present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy and acceptable. Because one day our Jesus will come. He's preparing a place for us. And he'll come and take us. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Tomorrow I'll talk about a call to absolutely sanctification, to sanctify. There's a difference between separating yourself and sanctifying yourself. Separating yourself to separate. You have, you have to separate this to live apart. You don't live together. Sanctification is living a holy life. I pray in the name of Jesus that you begin to live it. And so understand. Understand three things that a Christian you are called to do. One, to submit under the authority. There was a brown one said. You can never, you can never, you can never, you can never walk in righteousness. And I understand that every Christian is called to separate. You have to be separated. You have to be separated. Let me go and read the scripture. Let me go read first Timothy. First Timothy, First Timothy chapter 6. And I'll read verse 9 and 10. Wait, 9 and 10. <laughs> and listen. First Timothy 6, he said, But godliness with contentment is a great gain. Godliness with a contentment. He said, For we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we carry nothing out. Certain. We will not take anything. And so, he said, For we brought nothing. And having food and remnant, let us be content verse 9 listen to it he said they that will be rich fall into temptation they want to every means be rich to be rich i remember let me tell you a story when we came to america i think it was the late this happened in the late almost the late 90s the late 90s when flat screen tv started coming flat screen tv nearly year that's such a There are many people that have trouble. Their lifestyle, their lifestyle. The America. Oh yeah, they are now on one of the show. When I went to immigration jail, I met a Nigerian who had who was in jail. A Nigerian was in jail for almost twenty-five years in America. And the day, the day he came out, they were deporting him to Nigeria. Why? Because he was doing credit card fraud. <laughs> and that was around 2013, 2014. 2013, 2000. So you can imagine. 
He said, Obi and what that jail, what that prison for 25 years. And now, he had any coffee. And I talked to him, I shared the word of God. He was looking at my face and was crying. Every day he was crying. An old man, what did he do? So when we came, we went into a Nigerian family's house. Every room there was a flat screen TV. Every room there was a flat screen TV. And when you go to their compounds, uh, go, go and see good cars. Then we asked ourselves, how do, uh, we, we all came to America. But how is these people living this life? How is them living this life? The kind of job. And I hear the about it saying, yeah, maybe you are in Germany and you see people building houses in China. My brother, my sister. <laughs> there is an end to everything. Not knowing that it was a medical fraud. And do you know, they went to jail 20 years, 30 years, some of them. Recently, I met one of them. Met him and I felt sad for myself. Felt sad for myself. I met him and he was trying to dodge. Why? Because of greediness. The Bible said, those who want, but they which be rich fall into temptation and sin and into many foolish and hateful lusts which draw men into destruction and perdition for the love of money is the root of all evil which was some converted after and have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows pray in the name of jesus christ my brother my sister that you present your body as a living sacrifice present it live a righteous life do the will of god one day our jesus will come it is better to go to heaven <laughs> living your normal life than to get all the riches in an awkward and an ungodly way and go to hell. Because Jesus said, if a man gains the whole world, he said, beware of covetousness. A man's life is not in the abundance of things that he has. If you gain the whole world, it loses your life. What is the gain? Pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you begin to do. Uh, the Bible is not saying that we should not work. TBA. Listen to me. The Bible is not telling us don't work. I every day will tell you a lazy Christian don't work. Who will go into the forest uh, and go and sit in the church seven days, 24 hours and pray. I have never seen anybody who has prayed and prayed and prayed and will go and his bank account will, will be full with money. Or you go and, and money will be in your room. I have never seen anybody who go and sow. I, I, I want to be rich, and so let me let me go and sow a Ford car, and I'll receive a Mercedes Benz. It is not scripture. It's not biblical. Money is earned. You have to work and earn it. Money don't grow on trees, and money don't grow by faith. You have to work it. You sit down and let let them deceive you. Let them deceive you. There is no slaughter machine in heaven. <laughs> Christianity is principle. God told the Israelites, if you hack in onto my words and you do it, these blessings will come and overtake you. When you go out, you are going with blessing. <laughs> I thank God for Abraham. And I thank God for Isaac. The Bible says, in the year Isaac sown, I rip a hundredfold. And that man continued to was great until he was great. People read the scripture. Oh, yeah, Juma, do it. No oh dear, he saw me, and that year he, he, everything continued to multiply. Don't let an end time pastors deceive you. Tomorrow you good. They are very evil. May God have mercy on us. Somebody let me lead somebody to Christ. Let me lead you to Christ and accept Jesus as your personal savior. Say Lord Jesus, I today. Father, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Your word says, if anybody be in you, he's a new creature. All things are past. Everything is new. As I've accepted you, be you order my steps until you come. Or call me from this earth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My brother, my sister, I believe in living a righteous life and doing the will of God. Find a church. And go to church. Not every church you go. Don't go to every church and tell me your mother's church or your father's church and sit in that church and go to hell. 
Because if you are, either you are going to heaven or you are going to hell. Don't let anybody deceive you. I don't believe it. Yes. <laughs> let them sit down. After all this that is in the Bible, after all that is in the YouTube, the visions that people have seen about the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and they still say they don't believe it. Leave them. Leave them. Heaven is not for them. Hell is for them. And they want to go. I don't want to go there. I pray in the name of Jesus. Go to a place that you hear the word of God and the conviction of the Holy Spirit will fall on you and walk in righteousness. Amen. God bless you. Let's pray. Begin to pray. Open your mouth and let's pray. Begin to thank God and bless the name of our Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We honor you, Jesus. Papa, we honor you. We honor you. We honor you. Somebody thank the Lord. Bless the name of our Lord. Bless the name of the Lord with us. Just bless the name of our Lord. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Bless his name. His name is Jesus. Uh, his name is Jesus. Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name. Bless the name, bless the name, bless his name. Give him glory and honor his name. Rakada Bojendereba. Epantara Borondi Briadaba. Just worship the name and bless his name. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. Rakada Bojendereba. In the name of Jesus. My brother, my sister, we want to pray. There are people who hear the word of God. Jesus told us about the parable of a man that went to sow seed. When I finish this, I will talk about I will talk about the prophecies about Jesus' ministry. I'm going to talk about the prophecies about Jesus' ministry. And you see that even it was prophesied that he will, he will come and talk in parables. Jesus told us a story. A man went out to sow seed. Some fell by the roadside. Others fell in tongues and in rock. And one fell on good soil. Three places compared to one place. And so it does not matter anywhere you fall on without falling on the good soil. It will not, you will not end well. We are praying. Maybe you, are, you have come to Christ and you have, you have the desire. You want to do the right thing. The spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. I want to pray with you. I mean God help us. May God help us. May God strengthen us to overcome. Overcome every weakness. Because if you continue to live in that weakness, my brother, my sister, of a truth, you are not going to go to heaven. You will not. And something that nobody will hear. When you are preaching, you say it, people will be, will be dropping. Nobody will to hear about it. Be a person will be So catch and say, one such a night, because we're judging. I'm not judging you. I am telling you. If you are putting your hand in the fire and I tell you, if you put your hand, it's going to burn you. I am not judging you. I am telling you the truth. We are praying. I don't know where the word of God has fallen on your heart. Maybe it may be likened to the one that fell by the roadside or on the rock or in tongues. But because they loved the Lord, they could not grow. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the Holy Spirit will begin to to plow your fellow ground to plow that every ground will plow it your heart that it will begin to be good open your mouth and begin to pray be one on a bonfire open your mouth my brother my sister we are praying we are asking God the Holy Spirit to help us in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray with us we are praying in the name of Jesus pray with us and say Lord I want to do the will, good uh, your, your will I want to live a righteous life I want to be separated I want to submit myself unto you pray in the name in the name of Jesus, pray that you will encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that Jacob was going, he came to a place and he slept. And in the dream, he was even sleeping on a stone. He took a stone to be a pillow. When you read Genesis, Genesis 28, and the Bible says that the pillow he saw. A ladder to having an angels of the Lord running to and fro. It is the heart. It does not matter where you are. When your heart clenches to heaven, 
Open your mouth and pray that God help me. Be one bomb by catch the word is a red me. We come to I want to do the right thing. I want to live the right way. I want to do. I want to separate myself in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Again, we are praying. There are some people they have involved themselves in a lifestyle. They've involved themselves in a lifestyle. Until you accept Christ, until you until you encounter Christ, when you preach to them, they'll be giving excuses. But when the person encounters Christ, they'll begin to testify. Because immediately you encounter Christ and your life is changed, your eyes open. You become illuminated and you see. No wonder the Bible says that the, the fearing of God is the beginning of wisdom. And so we are praying. Everything in your life there are many people that because of the things in their lives they cannot separate themselves one twenty or more they cannot but today a word of god has come to you the bible says that if you believe you see the glory of god we want to pray with you and pray that the strength of god that is the holy spirit the bible says we shall receive power when the holy ghost has come upon us it is the holy spirit that will strengthen us uh, that we will be able to be separated from the things of this world. Open your mouth and pray. Pray to God. Plead to heaven. Ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill you. Have the Holy Spirit to come and dwell in you. There is a difference between the indwelling presence and the infilling power. It is the infilling power. They were filled with the Holy Ghost. Salvation and uh, receiving the Holy Ghost is different. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. When you accept Christ, you have the presence of the Holy Spirit. But to be filled is different from salvation. Open your mouth and say, Lord, fill me with your power. The Bible said they were in one accord. And it came, it came the strength that came. That empowered Peter. Peter was running away. But when Peter was filled with the Holy Ghost, he was able to stand and say, uh, that whom do we believe? The same Jesus that you crucified. The same Jesus that God has raised from death. Uh, so we are praying. Bombaye kachere urade. Woman who krokro shout ne. Sura wode. Urade maye pini. Rika da bojen tini mi. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray your power. We pray your spirit. Rika da bojen tini mi. Open your mouth, my brother, and press. A child of God, pray with us. We are praying. We are calling the strength of heaven. We are calling Jehovah to fill us, to fill us, to fill us. Raka da bojen tini mi. Randi de borona riaka da bojen tini mi. Randi ka da bojen de branda. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, my brother, pray, pray with us, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we want to thank you, we bless you, in Jesus' name, let's pray this prayer, there are some people, it is not them, they have found themselves in other wrong places, they love the Lord, so unfortunately for them, they have tread upon a wrong soil because they thought the leader the one that is leading them how how they speak and how they do things they are of god but they may not know that some of them have familiar spirits some of them have familiar spirit they mention the name of jesus christ they do everything and and you are thinking that they are of christ but when you read matthew 24 verse 24 Jesus said there are people who come with, with false Christ. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. I don't know if you have you have had that video. A man from South Africa in Kenya, it was <laughs> they took an American white man and said it was Jesus Christ. It's on the social media. <laughs> One of our Brunin dresses say Jesus Christ. Hey, Africa. Africa <laughs> I pray in the name of Jesus. No wonder the Bible says when we see the abomination that cause remedy, standing in the holy place. Every nasty thing is in, in the standing in the church. But there is time for everything. He says of judgment because the prince of this world stand condemned. There is judgment. Matthew 24 and the verse 24. He says that 
for they shall rise forth Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect, those who have been elected. Ready, moye. We are reading. I want to read your people about We are praying with you. There are people who have found themselves in the wrong places. We want to pray for you. Maybe you think that you are the right place. Maybe you think that oh, because of what is going on, and they don't preach Christ to you. They don't preach heaven to you. They don't preach any holiness to you, and you are still sitting there thinking. Sorry, Jennifer. Like every day will tell you if you come to the church that God has started through my brother and myself, and you you you, you don't see Christ, and you don't see your heaven there. Leave and go and find a place. But thank God, you cannot sit down now in ministry. You know, try your ministry as here they are. And yet they will be more closer to heaven. Open my eyes. Open my eyes and help me. Help me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray with us. Pray. God is a merciful God. He is a prayer answering God. David said, I prayed and I inclined my ears. God inclined his ears unto me. He answered me and lifted me from a mary clay and established me upon a rock. Our God answer prayer. My brother, pray. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Just open your mouth and say, Lord, open my eyes to see Jesus seated upon the throne. And some say, Holy Ghost, doing again, doing it again in my life. Open my eyes to see Jesus who is seated upon the throne. It's all about Jesus. Life is about Jesus. Without Christ, you'll be in crisis. Jesus said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Yes, somebody said, I woke up by myself. I go out. I do everything. My brother, my sister, this is what God has given to you. But when it comes to the judgment, you cannot run. You cannot escape. No one can escape. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me end you here because I have to run to work. Say, you call Juma. Indeed. I should have been on my way driving to work by now. But because the love I have for you and for God, we have to preach the message. I see you tomorrow at the same time. Tomorrow I have time and we will share greetings and love. God bless you all. Bye.